Hi, I'm Mrs. Loader and today we're going to discuss some basic sewing techniques. The first thing you need to do is cut your thread about a yard long. Then you're going to thread that needle. This can be difficult, but take your time. You can cut the end and make sure there's no little frayed pieces sticking off the end. That helps. Then we're going to double up our thread so we have a nice even tail on the other end. For what we're doing, a double thread will work best. Then we need to make a knot by looping our tail through, a hoop, through the loop three times, then pulling it tight. Then you have a nice knot at the end to stop your thread from going through your fabric. The first stitch we're going to do is called a running stitch. This is a quick stitch that you can do to attach two pieces of fabric together or to use for a decorative element. You're basically making dash lines with your thread. It looks the same on the front and the back. You can also make your stitches more than one at a time by putting your needle through the fabric, just as you see here, and then pulling it. The next stitch is called a back stitch. This one's a little bit trickier, but it's still a running stitch, only you're circling back each time. This way there's no space between your stitches, and it's a nice strong stitch that you can use to secure two pieces of fabric together. This is going to be the backbone for what we're doing with our sewing project. Here you'll see I'm going to stitch forward, circle back, then go forward again, then circle back again, and you just keep going like that. The back of your, thread, or your fabric will look a little bit different than the front, but that won't matter. The last thing we need to do is make a knot. This part can be a little bit tricky too. Um, you're going to make a loop and then put your needle through the loop two or three times, pull it tight. You'll do that twice and then cut the tail. Make your loop, go through the loop, pull it, make your loop again, go through the loop, and pull it. There you go, your two basic sewing techniques.